Hello there. Hello there. What is up guys, so today for this video we're looking at how to play Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Kenobi himself. So right now you guys are just seeing the star cards I have on the screen and you can see the free highlighted star cards I use. You can pause the video if you need to and then just look over them so you can get rid of them if you need to. So I'm going to be going over why, why I specifically chose those three star cards out of the ones that you have and then I will be speaking about his strengths, his weaknesses and also give you guys a little bit of tips so that you guys can master General Kenobi himself. So this is just a little gameplay in uh, instant action against some bots showcasing Obi-Wan's abilities. So you guys are seeing right now I'm using the defensive rush. So what the defensive rush does is that when you use the ability, Obi-Wan swings his lightsaber, also deflecting blaster balls back at the opponent's, opponents. But also as well, on the last hit of defensive rush, it does increase damage and it also does another attack. So you actually can manage to defeat your enemies. Uh, well, I'll push what you guys are seeing right now. One thing to know with this is that this ability rounds Obi-Wan. So compared to as another character compared as Luke. Luke can use his force push in midair. However, for Obi-Wan, he needs to be grounded when using this ability. And just a little tip as well for you guys, when Obi-Wan is using his force push ability, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, I get a, I get a yellow shield. That yellow shield is damage reduction. So when Obi-Wan uses his force push ability, he gets damage reduction. And right now, what you guys are seeing right now is just a little game playing heroes versus villains. And I'm just going to let this one play out and you guys can see exactly how I play Obi-Wan. Then I will come back and I can talk about his strengths and his weaknesses for you guys. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Possess the power of the dark side. Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our speciality. So uncivilized. Another tip for you guys, as you guys are about to see right now, when using Obi-Wan's force push, you can position the range of this attack in any position, whether it's up, down, left, or right. And the good thing about this is that it, depending on where you are or where your opponents are, you can use this, you can use this ability, position where they are, whether you are fighting in any direction, and then from there you can unleash the ability and hopefully get the kill. So as you guys just saw there, Maul was blocking and I used my ability and I was just heading straight for him. However, he was blocking, so my force push was ineffective against him. You were right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. So right now what you guys are seeing is just some game playing Galactic Assault. So I'm just showing how I play with you in like a bigger game mode compared to a smaller one like he was versus villains. And uh, one thing to know with Obi-Wan as well is that he's a very defensive character. But a good defense makes for a great offense. And this is one of Obi-Wan's strengths. Obi-Wan as a hero, he has the highest stamina pool in the game. Very defensive, but has the highest stamina pool in the game. Obi-Wan's stamina is ridiculously high and this is one of his strengths. Especially when you're coming up against a lot of saber wielders or maybe you're coming up against a lot of blaster characters, maybe you're playing Galactic Assault and you're facing down a team of droids and you know there's just constantly shooting and stuff like that. You can block for days with Obi-Wan's and there are star cards for Obi-Wan as well which then allow him to get um, increased Hello stamina. There. So Obi-Wan could be blocking for days upon days upon days and this is one of his greatest strengths. Hello there. So when I'm playing Obi-Wan, in most scenarios, I will always try to make sure that I have my stamina up as much as I possibly can, so that I can ensure that no matter who I'm going up against, I always have enough stamina to keep me whether in the fight or maybe I need to do an evasion where I can like remove myself from a specific scenario so that I'm not in a lot of trouble, and then I can get back into the fight and you know just continue demolishing with Gen General Kenobi himself. 
So as you guys are seeing here, I'm just trying to make the best use out of all of my abilities. Most times when I'm going in, I will use defensive rush so I can block shots back at my opponent and then I will dodge behind them or dash to the side of them and then I would finish them off with like, you know, a couple of saber swings depending on what their HP are. When I'm using the mind trick, which is Obi-Wan's middle ability, the mind trick is a very good ability because what this does, it disables everyone's abilities so let's say you're going up against a saber wielder let's say vader as an example you use the mind trick his saber throw his middle ability and also his choke they are going to be disabled for the duration of your mind trick and there is a star card as well that enhances the duration of mind trick and also the range of the mind trick so in most scenarios what you guys are going to see me doing especially in these videos is that depending on who i'm going up against i will use the mind tricks that i can disable their abilities and then i would quickly rush in to whoever defeat them or maybe to possibly get their life really really low so that I can maybe my team can finish them off or I can finish them off. So this clip that you guys are seeing right now this is just some heroes versus villains gameplay and I'm just showcasing how I use Obi-Wan's abilities and like I mentioned the defensive rush as you guys are seeing right there the final swing did defeat Palpatine I was able to get the kill so in most cases depending on who you're going up against you can use defensive rush either to get away from a group of people maybe you're heading towards into battle let's say people are firing at you you can use the defensive rush ability and you can deflect those blaster bots back at your opponents and then you can go in there and finish them off yourself but in most scenarios defensive rush ability is something that you definitely need to make sure that you always have up especially for specific scenarios and right now what you guys are seeing right now is just a little 1v1 i had with Darth Vader and i'm gonna let the rest play out for you guys Because Obi-Wan is such a defensive character, a lot of new players especially, they may see Obi-Wan as a character who, you know, you just hold up your block forever and just let the enemies continuously swim at you. Don't be one of those players. When you're playing as Obi-Wan, even though he is a defensive character, you can be very offensive with him as well, especially in Heroes vs. Villains or even in Galactic Assault or maybe Supremacy. The one thing about Obi-Wan as well is that even though he has a high stamina pool, it can be drained. Just like any other saber wielder in the game, your stamina can be drained. And if you have no stamina, you can't block and you can't attack. And those are the two main things when going up against other opponents as well. Even though in specific scenarios, Obi-Wan can maybe block maybe two or three saber wielders constantly spamming him with attacks, eventually your stamina is going to run out. And when you run out, then you're just stuck and you have no idea what you're meant to be doing because you're just in this scenario where you have no stamina whatsoever, your opponents are constantly you know, swinging at you and you, you just don't know what to do. So always make sure that like you keep a good amount of stamina ready for whoever you're going up against sometimes in most cases especially like when i'm playing my stamina may run low but another trick as well well a little tip really is that when you use a defensive rush ability your stamina does regenerate a little bit for the duration of using the defensive rush ability as long as you've used it so let's just say you're going up against an opponent and then you know your stamina is just about to run out use defensive rush and during the duration of your defensive rush depending if you cancel it or not you will regain some stamina and this is really 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 helpful especially when it comes comes to going up against opponents and then you know just using your defensive rush ability just to get a little feet away from them just so you can get back some stamina and then you can go back in and by this time because they're constantly either attacking you and you know they're constantly rushing you and stuff their stamina is going to drain and it will leave you with actually having stamina because you were able to regenerate some of your stamina due to the, the defensive rush ability so what you guys are seeing right now is just another clip of Heroes vs Villains. I was lucky enough to have two friends with me and we decided to just play some Heroes vs Villains and I was able to play as Obi-Wan so I can show you guys some more gameplay as well. So another thing to know about Obi-Wan and this is one of his weaknesses, if you're using the defensive rush ability, it doesn't give you immunity as say when you're using Darth Vader. When you're playing as Vader as an example, you can use a stroke ability and what this does it also gives you damage reduction but it also gives you immunity from force powers as well so if you're playing as vader and you use his stroke ability 
You can't be pushed, you can't be thrown or anything like that. However, with Obi-Wan's defensive rush ability, it does not give him damage reduction or immunity. So you can be, your skill can be interrupted. So let's just say you're playing as Obi-Wan and let's just say you're coming up against someone as Darth Vader. You use defensive rush in their path. If that Vader has their choke ready, they can use that choke and it will interrupt your skill, thus resulting in you not having your ability and you're just going to receive damage because your ability got cancelled out. Most scenarios, you can be thrown by Maul, you can be frozen by Kylo, you can be interrupted by Clovis from Grievous. It's just really, really unfortunate, but that is one of his um, weaknesses, unfortunately. So just a little tip as well. In most cases, like what you'd see me do, is that depending on who I'm going up against, I'll use the mind trick ability so I can disable the ability so that I know I'm not going to be choked or thrown or frozen or anything like that. And then I can rush in and then use defensive rush to either finish them off, depending on how low the rage is, or I can just use it to either regen regenerate my stamina, or I can just go in and just do damage to them either way. So whenever I'm playing as Obi-Wan and everything like that, the reason why you guys see me use those three specific star cards compared to the other ones that he has is because for my playstyle of how I play Obi-Wan in particular, they fit my playstyle a bit more. One of his star cards gives him increased range for his all out push ability. So Hello it also in, so it enhances the range of how far his ability can reach a target. The second one, it reduces the cast time for the animation. So it shortens the time of when I of um, how long it's going to take Obi-Wan to charge up and use that force push ability. And the third star card I use gives me stamina reduction when I block a certain amount of lightsaber attacks or when I deflect a certain amount of blaster bullets or blaster shots depending on what you may call them. So I have an increase in stamina, so my stamina is going to be drained at a slower rate compared to usual and I have an increased range for my all out push and I also have a shorter cast time for when I'm using all out push ability. So for my type of playstyle, I can't tell you how many times that I've been able to actually get kills from like a specific distance across the map where enemies think that they are safe because I have the increased range for Obi-Wan's uh, force push ability. So for this in particular, as you guys are seeing right there, was able to push those guys down. In a lot of funny scenarios, depending on like what map you're playing on heroes versus villains, maybe it's Kashyyyk, maybe it's Bespin, enemies may think that they're safe and away from you, but because you have the increased range for your all out push, you can get some really, really good kills because the range on Obi-Wan's ability is very far. So it reaches targets from a really good distance. The cast time, as I mentioned, is also reduced, so it helps me out as well, because like I mentioned in the bottom left-hand corner when I am using Obi-Wan's force push ability, it does give me damage reduction. So a lot of times, maybe if an enemy is maybe close to me and they're attacking me, I do have some damage reduction while they're attacking me, but because I have a shorter cast time for my ability, for my all out push, I can then push them a very good distance away from me. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this how to play Obi-Wan video. I tried to go over all of his strengths, his weaknesses, his star cards, why I use specific star cards over the other ones, and also like what his abilities do so that you guys can also master how to play General Kenobi because unfortunately a lot of scenarios I see a lot of new players who come into the game and you know they might play as Obi because you know their favorite Star Wars character is Obi-Wan. So you know they come in, they don't know what his abilities do, they kind of just waste them and they don't necessarily help the team because you know they're maybe dying all the time because you know they don't know how to like maybe master his abilities and everything like that so this video is really just to like help you guys out but i really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video uh, the next one will definitely be coming up really really short here as well on the channel so i just wanted to say thank you so much for like being here thank you for supporting the channel guys i'm gonna let the rest of this gameplay finish out and everything like that but i will definitely see you guys in the next one take care